Hey everyone, Mike McClellan, Big Bite Pro, coming to you with Bass Resource to talk winter fishing. And, uh, you know, one of the things about wintertime, and uh, people all over the country kind of get uh, a little bit torn up by it because, you know, they, they get to thinking, you know, the water's just too cold, the fish aren't going to bite. And the thing that I've learned is I don't really believe the water can get too cold. I mean, until, until there's ice on it, and even then, you know, fish are catchable. But the biggest thing is understanding that time of the year, if you're fishing a river system, those fish are gonna go to the deepest holes with the least amount of current. If you're fishing a lake, those fish are usually gonna start really congregating in the actual creek channels and the creek channel bends. So they really get pretty easy to, to determine and, and really figure out where they're gonna be. I mean, they school up bigger in the winter than any other time of the year. So it's your opportunity to get out there and, and catch a lot of fish once you find a school of fish and figure out the proper bait to uh, catch them on. And a uh, bait that I really utilize a lot, and it's simply for the fact that I can fish it at about any depth that I want to fish it, is a Gamakatsu hybrid swing head I helped them develop this year. And uh, it's a bait that uh, is just a, you know, a piece of tungsten with the ability to change out your hooks, change out your bait choices in one easy step. I mean, that hook just rolls right off of that pigtail. So I'm able to change, you know, my plastics as well as the size hook that I'm throwing to meet any application that I need. One thing about wintertime fishing, like I said, is it gets pretty simple. I mean, there's two or three places that I'm really gonna focus my attention to. If I'm fishing a, a highland type reservoir, a, a reservoir like Grand Lake, or, you know, even some of those lakes in Texas, I'm gonna look for those ditches drains, creek channels, the deepest water that I can find in an area, I'm going to use my electronics, I'm going to do a lot of graphing, and once I establish what depth the bait wants to be at, because in the wintertime, I mean, that bait is all pretty much going to congregate at one depth, I can break it down pretty quick. I mean, you just have to jump around a little bit, try to fish the ends of points where a creek channel intersects that point, try to fish the actual river channel bends, bluff lines themselves, or actually right in the middle of the ditches in the creek channel. Um, a big bite B2 worm, baby B2 is a great little bait. I think a lot of times finessier style baits will catch fish in the winter. And you know, these are baits that will work throughout the course of the year, but it's also a bait that when you're really looking to get a group of fish fired up, sometimes it takes a little finesse application like that baby B2 to get those fish going. Once you get a school of wintertime fish fired up though, I mean a multitude of different baits can work. I mean, you know, Big Bite Pro Swimmer, uh, the Big Bite Finesse Swimmer, like I've got here is another good bait. Um, anything that replicates shad or even crawfish, because I think even in the winter, fish are still gonna focus on, you know, eating crawfish. So a little uh, Big Bite Kamikaze Craw is a great bait to throw. It's just a little three inch finesse style bait that I like to throw, but I do typically like to lean toward the smaller versions. A, a baby fighting frog is another good bait to throw in the uh, wintertime months, as well as the Big Bite Pro Swimmer. I mean, the little 2.8 version is gonna be a great bait to throw in the, the wintertime, but definitely focus on using your electronics. I mean, that to me is the biggest key. And once you learn to, to read your electronics, understand you know what groups of shad and school, schools of fish look like, you're gonna be a lot more successful catching fish on a, on a uh, swing head in the fall or in the winter. So be sure and check it out.